Katie here. So today I'm going to do a clothing haul. It is mostly baby clothes, but there's a few things in here for Addison and Brooks. Um, over the last couple of weeks, my mother-in-law has gone to a few thrift stores, um, and we've gone to Goodwill and stuff like that, and we've gotten some really, really cool, really nice things for the kids. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is this little outfit, and it comes with these little pants. The bottom is so cute. It's just a little outfit. It is newborn, and look at this. This is my favorite part. Like, I need all my newborn clothes to be like this. I don't know if you could tell. It's magnets. What? It's called Magnificent Baby. Designed in New York City, 100% cotton. Second thing is this. I can figure out how to show it the right way. It's a little swaddler with that muslin material. There's little monkeys on it. Super, super soft and super nice. And it's the, it's the good brand. Um, yeah, and I think this is only like $3. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. It feels so nice. Um, the third thing is another Muslim blanket. This is a blanket that was a swaddle. But it's a blanket and it has little lions on it. Little blue lions super soft and it's pretty big and it's that same same brand I think this one we got at a yard sale though and then we have this little sleeper super super cute there's a little what is that a little tiger I think yeah and this is in size newborn and then this one is also newborn it's just a little Sleeper. Sleeper. You can never have too many sleepers with a newborn. I remember that from Brooks. Um, and then we have this one. I think this is, yeah, this is zero to three months. It has little elephants on it. And this one actually has a matching bib. Brand new. All brand new. Just a couple. I think we, like a dollar. No, it wasn't a dollar. Like two fifty, maybe three dollars at most. And here's a little gown. <clears throat> also has the little cuff for the hands, so I don't scratch your little face. Let's see. I have it all piled up right here, and it's like mixed up with like both kids' clothes, all three kids. So, and here's something else. This is like one of those little jumpsuit thingies. Oh, when it's super cold because baby will be born in February, so here in Arkansas it will be pretty cold. This little bigger ears. And it also has this little thing right here for the car seat so it doesn't get away of like the buckle. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And the tag is actually still on it, and we got it for $3.50. And it looks brand freaking new. Like, no, not a stain, nothing. Looks amazing. Um, I'm trying to find more baby stuff. We found this little thing and it was from Old Navy and it's zero to three months. It's just another little sleeper thing but it doesn't have any buddies. And it's like velvet. It feels really soft. I love it. Um, this is something I found at Goodwill and it's kind of funny. I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was super cute. I had to get it. Like I could not pass it up and it's they're just six months, so it might be a little bit before you can fit into it, but it's these little green and gray striped pants. And on the back, there's a cow on the butt. <laughs> so, so cute. And it's the Carter's brand, but that was so cute. It has a cow on the butt. I had to get it. Had to. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's some more stuff. All of this stuff is brand new, and it is newborn. It has little foxes. So cute. I love the ones with the little like feet, the animal feet. Um, let's see. yeah, this is newborn too. It's a raccoon. Red stripes. Or it's kind of like a I think it's supposed to be red, but it's like a peachy color. I don't know. Red peachy color. And this one, it's a little brother. So so cute. And his little shoes. 
I think it's so cute. All brand new, never been worn. They're from Walmart. I think they're by the Walmart brand, yeah. This little thing, Brett actually found this. I thought it was super cute. And it's funny because Brooks had a onesie that looked just like this, but it was short sleeve and it was in a bigger size, but I thought it was pretty cute. He had the same one. Little brother. It's long sleeve. And it's a newborn. <sighs> and here's another. This is zero to three months. It's another little gown. Love these little gowns. Little polka dots. And it also has the little thing so they can't scratch their face. And the rest of this stuff, I'm gonna get it all put together. I have such I, should, I probably should have organized this before I started the video, but whatever. Okay, the rest of this stuff, the rest of this stuff is used, but it's still really good quality. And it's just little knickknacks for the baby as he gets older, little sleepers and stuff like that. Um, this is from Gap. Just a little sleeper. This one has little animals all over it. Okay, and the next thing is this little, another little gown. This little animals and stuff on the bottom like a little uh, it's like little toys on the bottom but oh, yeah super cute another little sleeper little foots my favorite and then just a couple little onesies little puppy dog I thought this one was super cute it's I think it's like six months no it's three months but still it's gonna be a little bit before you can wear it but it was just too cute not to get stash. <laughs> I don't know something about it. I just thought it was so cute. I had to get it. Um, this little one says hot diggity dog. And another little long sleeve with a little puppy on it. So yeah, that's all that we got for the baby. Um, I might actually have some more around here because it's been over the last few weeks that we've been going kind of back and forth and doing different things. Finding different things that we like and his mom is always picking stuff up. So... I think that's everything we got for the baby. Now I'm going to jump into things we got for Addison. We got her some really cool things. We found her some awesome things at Goodwill. Um, that I'm super excited about. The first thing, well there's two of them. Okay, is this dress. It's long sleeve. So it's perfect for right now because it's starting to get cold in here. Blue. And look, there's already a freaking A monogram on it. Like how perfect is that? And it's from Lolly Wally Dolly, or Doodle, well, Lolly Wally Doodle. Um, so yeah, and that's an expensive brand. I mean, this dress is easily 30 bucks, if not more. So, and then another one from the Lolly Wally. This one's a tank top, but we bought a black long sleeve shirt to go underneath it. I don't know where it's at, I don't have it in my pile, but um, to go underneath it so she can wear it now and then she can wear it in the summer again has another little A monogrammed on it. And it's a little dress. Super, super cute. And it actually comes with these little pants. But I should me to wear these right now because it's getting cold. But because they're like capris. But it is a size 8. Which is weird because it fits her. And she's only like in a 5.6 right now. and But it fits her pretty good. The pants are a little big. But the dress fits her perfectly. So I may have to put these up for a little bit. But... Super, super cute. And I think we only pay like three or four dollars for that, and those are definitely 30 plus. <laughs> so, and we found this little black cardigan for her. So, the little pretty detailing on the neck and the um, sleeves, and it's from Jimbery. So, super cute. And the next thing we got her, she's actually going to wear to school tomorrow because tomorrow's pajama day. And it's for Halloween. And then she can just wear these whenever because it's just pajamas, so it doesn't matter. But they are brand new with the tag still on it from Carter's. And it's originally $34 and we paid $8.50. Um, so yeah, little PJ sweet. Sweeter than candy. That little shirt these leggings 
I guess they're technically pajamas, but I feel like they could be worn as leggings too. I don't know. And then it came with a super cute little ruffle skirt. But that was super, super cute. So yeah, she's going to wear that tomorrow because tomorrow's pajama day. And then the next day is Halloween. And then we also found her these little pants. Which I thought were super, super cute. We can easily pair them with pretty much anything because it has so many different colors on it. You can easily find something to go with them. That's everything we found for Addison. And then I'm going to get into some things that we found for Brooks. Now I do want to say over the past two months ish we have been getting Brooks a lot a lot of winter clothes because he didn't have anything because um well he just didn't have anything because we just never stocked up on like um older boy clothes so um he needed a lot of stuff so I didn't get him that he this isn't too much of what I have right here it's just things that I could randomly find um but we've actually got him a lot lot more probably at least 10 excuse me about 10 pairs of pants a whole bunch, a bunch of shoes, um, which I do have the shoes to show though. Um, and then, um, I don't know, probably 20 or more shirts, like, and, um, two jackets and a couple of sweaters. So he's gotten a lot, a lot of stuff over the time, but I didn't want to collect it all because it's pretty much his whole closet now because he's wearing it right now. So I didn't want to collect it all and get it all together. Um, but yeah, he also got a lot, a lot of stuff over the last couple of weeks, months week slash month so first thing is this this was brand new when we bought it he's actually already worn it so the tags are off but and it comes with these little pants it's little pj set brand new from carter's this little shirt which he can't wear this for very long but it is his 2t so um he should be able to wear it next year too but it's super cute it says trick or treat it's like a little um, boutique shirt for a little boy. It's from the Janie and Jack brand. That was super, super cute. This thing says Mr. Cool and has like little pockets. It's a little outfit. Keep him nice and toasty when we're like out and about. If we ever decide to go to the park when it's really chilly or something. And then these little Mickey Mouse footy pajamas. <laughs> He loves him some Mickey Mouse. So, and he did also get the same exact pair, um, and it's um, Batman. But he wore those last night, so they're dirty. And these were brand new. I only paid a couple bucks for them. So yeah. And then let me get the shoes. Okay. And for his shoes, we got him these cute little Mickey Mouse slippers. He's worn these a handful of times. He likes wearing them around the house. He wears them uh, like for daycare and stuff like that. So he's not having to wear real, real shoes. Um, okay, we got him these. On all these shoes are a size six. Yes, yeah, six. These little Nike Freeze. Super nice. Super good condition. Like very well taken care of, and they were only a couple bucks. Um, these no, these other three pairs. My husband is more excited than I am. I mean, I still love them, and they're so super cute. But my husband almost had a heart attack when he when we found these because they're very good shoes for very cheap um these we paid six bucks for they are these ones are a little bit worn but um i think if i kind of soaked them in some like oxyclean or something like that they'll probably come clean pretty well and then i mean he's only one so it's not that big of a deal he'll probably get them dirty anyways but they're these little air max and you can't beat you really cannot beat six bucks for some air max because those are expensive and then these these ones too these ones are also a little worn but i don't know how much you pay for them i think they're only like three bucks but um they're little jordans little black jordans again i think if i just soaked them they'd be perfect they'd be look really good which they still kind of do look pretty good i think not too bad now this next pair and the last pair we got him, I believe, was an amazing, amazing deal. Like my husband freaked out because he has the same shoes and he paid way over $100 for them. Or not the same exact shoes, but shoes very similar. They're the same style but different color. I made way over $100 for them. And even as a little kid shoe, they still run like 60 bucks if not more. Um, and these we paid 
$13 I think maybe 15 at most I can't really honestly can't remember um so very good deal and they are brand new basically like I swear that kid the kid whoever had them before only worn them maybe once or twice but they are these little Jordans look at that little Jordans look how nice those look I don't know if you can tell the lighting is pretty bad right now because it's like almost eight o'clock but I wanted to get this filmed tonight so I can get stuff put away. And I had to wait till the kids went to bed. So yeah, these little Jordans, so cute. I can't even handle them. And they're in such, such good quality. I don't think the lighting does just this like brand new, not even a scuff, a mark, nothing on them. Nothing at all. And you can even tell from the bottom, which Brooks wore these the other day. So they're, the bottom is a little bit dirty because he's worn them a couple times, but you can just tell by looking at them that they were not worn very much at all. So, awesome deal. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's the end of this video and the end of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will try to do more hauls. I always forget. I keep telling myself, do more hauls, do more hauls, because I go, we go to Walmart like a couple times a week, you know, Target every now and then and stuff. So, I'm like, Ugh, I need to do more hauls, but I just come home and put everything away, and I completely forget so I'm going to work harder on that and trying to do more hauls and more thrifting hauls too because we go to Goodwill quite often. Um, it's one of our favorite things to do on Sundays. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.